This is Twit. We're going to jump into hardware, but it's not quite any normal hardware. It's Mateo's Hardware Shack. Mm-hmm. <laughs> yes. Take it in. Breathe it in. <laughs> <laughs> this is this is like your shining moment, Mateo. Not one, not two, but three devices. Thank You've you got the hardware Interesting section. Interesting devices. In fact, let me yeah. put my let me put my little lappy top away and here's your room. Great, thank there you. There you go. So, All right, what you got first? <laughs> so let's start off with the Huawei Mate Mate 20 Lite. So this is the Huawei Mate 20 Lite, which is a change in step from Huawei because they've launched the light version before the actual flagship, which oh. is rumored to be launched on the 16th of October. So it's a preamble? It's a preamble, or <laughs> as some have referred to it, it's a 6.3-inch tease, oh. in the sense that it's a <laughs> device with a 6.3-inch uh, display and a notch. Uh, it's minimal bezel at the bottom, because the fingerprint scanner has been put on the back okay. and on the back um, it's a pretty capable device and the light moniker in this case uh, means that it's a mid-range device it's using the same uh, design language and the same looks as the rumored upcoming flagship but it's actually a mid-range device and this is now on sale in the UK for just under 400 pounds so it's not a full-on flagship but you're getting a lot of value for money so as you can see, it's a glass back. It's very shiny. Yeah, it's it reminds me of the Honor glass It's not back the Honor of... 10 or the Honor 9 yeah. Aurora back, right. but it is still quite shiny, and yeah. it's a hardened glass. While we haven't told us exactly what hardened glass it is, but it's pretty safe to, to assume that it has been hardened. And it's a nice, nice design. Yep. It's reflective, and you can see there's a fingerprint scanner, an LED flash, and two cameras. One of them's a 20 megapixel sensor, the other's a 2 megapixel depth sensor. So it's a pretty capable camera. I've been using this on vacation so far here on my road trips in the US. It's performing very well. So that second camera is all about just depth detection. Doesn't it, matter that it's 2 megapixels. It's not, you're not using that for actual image. Exactly. Yeah. It helps with portrait mode or if you're using yeah. Huawei's aperture mode, it recognizes glass much more, much better. Oh, okay. So those that those, that depth effect really works quite well now. Um, it's a combination of not only the hardware, but also the software. Huawei's software with the cameras is still excellent. In a way, they're ahead of many other companies uh, in that respect. And on the front, in this uh, relatively wide notch, let's see if we can get the light to catch it appropriately, you can see there's there two go. selfie cameras. One is a 24 megapixel camera. Oh, that's a lot of definition. Uh, and the other, again, is a 2 megapixel depth uh, perception one. So your selfie portraits are very good. No, but they're too sharp. Do you oh, need it looks just like you. Imperfections. <laughs> as well as well as the the excellent selfies, Huawei software have a selection of filters and masks and backgrounds that you can add to your selfies, including some very cheesy music. So this is me in the office wearing a Mexican uh, wrestling mask <laughs> by the looks of it. Yeah, this is kind of horrifying, yeah. So yeah. This How is, your eyes are peeking through there, it's a little yeah. weird. It doesn't look Mexican, that looks Asian almost. Yeah. That, looks, yeah. that looks, yeah, that looks uh, Chinese or something, yeah. It's true worldwide wrestling. <laughs> <laughs> yes, exactly. So, yeah, the, the selfie camera is a very capable one. Uh, it has beautification mode, it has uh, HDR. It's a, it's a good selfie camera. The only thing it doesn't have is optical image stabilization. That's Net? all done in software. Okay. But it's a 24 megapixel selfie camera. Well, yeah, and Huawei has been known Aww. on their, their recent phones, like they, they have an emphasis on AI uh, yes. working, you know, with a special chip on the phone for that AI functionality and, and specifically how that ties in with the camera. Yes, right? and this has that functionality. So if you go into the camera, in the camera mode, you'll see there's an AI icon there. So you can switch oh. that on and off. So by default, this will recognize scenes or objects. So if I were to point it at my cats, it would right. recognize cats, at dogs, at dogs. If you were to point it at a, uh, a, a pork pie, would it Let's recognize see. food? Oh, wow. Maybe. Let's see. So this is a pork pie, a delicacy <laughs> from the UK. Yes, you can see that it has oh, food. Oh, it recognizes food. It's <laughs> food food on the bottom. You know who else recognizes food? Let's point it at Flo and see what happens. Oops. 
Oops. Won't be able to see that. Uh oh. Yep. It's, User error there. That's okay. Does it say person? Um, usually it says portraits. Portrait or pork yes, pie. Yes, there we go. Depending on where you position. So I've just taken a screenshot of the camera UI here. Uh, yes, it will show the portrait modes. Uh, it has okay. 22 different modes that the AI chip and software will recognize. And speaking of the chip, this is a new chipset from Huawei. Mm -hmm. It's a 12 nanometer chipset, so slightly smaller than previous ones. Jeez. Okay, not uh, quite Apple's 7 nanometer. No, not quite. <laughs> uh, but, uh, and not quite Huawei's upcoming Kirin 980. Uh, but it's a Kirin 970, so it's a... Right the, sorry, right it's, this gate. is a Kirin 710. Oh, so it's a new mid, higher mid-range chipset from Huawei. Cool. And in day-to-day -day use, I've had no slowdowns. It can quite happily handle multiple, uh, multiple apps, including heavy ones. And this is a selection of pictures I've taken, all taken with AI mode enabled. This is rain at Murrayfield Stadium whilst I was watching a rugby game. Oh, cool. Uh, so it handles HDR surprisingly well. Super sharp, by the way. Uh, these I'm assuming this is Edinburgh. Yes, this is Edinburgh. Yeah, the, it looks super sharp. I can see like all the details on the buildings, and I imagine those buildings have a lot of details in person. They do. <laughs> so it sometimes over softens some details, such as smoke uh, markings and buildings. But it is a... Enhance, Chloe. Enhance. Yes. Enhance, Victor. Enhance. <laughs> so that's Parliament Square in Edinburgh. Mm -hmm. uh, this was the riding of the marches. Right. Uh, around, just over 200 horses rode up Edinburgh's high street, including my better half, Candice. And yes, the, the camera performs really well. It's not super professional. It's not as good as a Huawei P20 Pro yeah. or a Samsung S9 Plus. But for a mid-range device, you're getting a very good camera. The only issue is obviously the lack of optical image stabilization, but the software makes up for that. And this okay. is just an cool. example of the splash mode. Yeah. So this is something you do in editing after you've taken a picture. Huawei offer the option of you select manually selecting a color from the picture and everything else in the picture remains black and white apart from that one color. So here I've taken a picture of a red flower and a red flower bed and just left the red as the one color. Really and it's nice. a really like cool that. software feature added into the native MUI 8.2, which this device comes loaded with. Hmm. So Huawei have thrown out a very, this is the original picture, uh, by the way, with full color. Huawei have thrown out a great device with good software. This, as I said, is a 6.3 inch tease for the upcoming uh, Huawei Mate 20 Pro, which we're expecting to be announced on the 16th of October in London. So we're not sure yet. We h hope to see a, a great device being launched then. But in the meantime, if you don't think you want to spend as much on a smartphone, mm -hmm. this one has some advantages uh, as well as the notch. Some people consider that as an, uh, an advantage. It has a courage port. It has a courage port. <laughs> it has a USB Type-C port. Yeah. We'll put these on <laughs> the pork pie <laughs> in front of the pork pie. So you see it has a speaker grill and on the top is just plain. There's no infrared port as we've come to expect of Huawei devices recently. And it is a dual SIM device with micro SD expansion. Uh, the device I have here has four gigabytes of RAM and 64 gigabytes of internal storage expandable with up to 256 gig. And the battery life, the 3,750 milliamp hour battery. That's a big one. Performs really well with the efficient yeah. chipset. You get more than a day's use. I feel even like everybody else gets more battery than we do in the US. <laughs> that may be related to the fact that your network coverage is a bit more patchy and less powerful. So mm. your phone right. needs to pull and try oh. and reconnect to networks more often. It's, it's our infrastructure. Did you hear that, yeah. Jason? That was, a, that was an infrastructure. Your <laughs> <Yes. laughs> infrastructure. It was. I've yeah. noticed that even with my, my own devices roaming on US networks, their battery life has decreased. Interesting. In day -day. Look yes. at what we that do to people. Anyway, yes, uh, go on. <laughs> I see Victor has found one of the highlights of the selfie camera. Emboldened in your I might need Flo, Flo to jump Go in ahead. and help. 3D Q emojis? Are you jumping in? Is that what they call yeah. it? Yeah. Q emojis? Are you jumping in, Flo? Yes. Come on. Hello. Oh. Oh. Okay, Hello. so. Hello there. Oh, I want to be a rabbit. Hello. Look at me. I don't have braces. 
Now, the interesting thing is some of them will actually recognize your, your expressions and change according to your mood. So do an angry face and it should go redder. No, this is sad. <laughs> and this is I don't think it has an angry face. <laughs> and this is angry. Oh, I saw the the eyes kind of get no, there. Let me try. Angry. Oh, there we go. I'm I'm naturally angry. Oh, oh, yeah. Why do you look Wait, more angry? No, I think it just I'm, detects I'm your sunburn. Yeah, yeah it's probably the sunburn. <laughs> <laughs> there we go. So you do get the equivalent of an emojis or whatever okay. the fruity fruity branded version is. Yeah, uh, and that's all thanks to Huawei's MUI software mm -hmm. that's loaded on it. So cool. Um, I'm really happy with this device. I've been really enjoying using it on my road trip and vacation. The pictures are very good. If Victor can show, there's a couple of examples of sunsets, the AI mode enabled and disabled that I put into the shared album. Does it have uh, NFC? Um, let me check. <laughs> I haven't. I haven't installed. Somebody asked in the chat. Oh, Wade County asked in the chat room. So I figured other people might have the same question, uh, uh, since I do know sometimes. I'm thinking it might. Sometimes these things don't have NFC, which is a bummer. Uh, May 20 light features, yes, NFC? Yes, it does. Right. So yep. you can use this for Android Pay. So this is an example of sunset in normal HDR. Uh, with AI enabled, there's another one which blacks out. Oh, sorry, this is with... Normal. This is normal. Uh, the other one's with AI enabled. So it oh. gives it a bit more of a red tone and mutes some of the other colors. It adds dynami it. dynamism. I can always spell that word and never say it. But dynamism. Thank you. I don't know. Something Dynamism. like that. Dynamism. Yes. It seems to emphasize more of the detail in the sky, though, <laughs> yeah. than it does on the ground. Yes. Everything gets a little darker on the ground. but So that's sunset in Fort Bragg, California. Oh, very nice. That it is. Awesome. So that's the Huawei so, Mate 20 Lite. Yes. All right. 